Hey everybody, it's me, Henry, and welcome to my channel. Today, in this video, we're going to continue to learn the book, The Weight of Life by Mr. Kazuo in the morning, the first chapter, Making Your Dreams Come True, session three and four. Session number three, do you have the extraordinary imagination which is beyond the reality and creativity? This is important. Before you become successful or achieve your dream, you need to be in a state of like crazy. Now, I don't mean the real crazy, the strong desire on what you want. Now, some people say this is not a scientific way at all. This is purely a spiritual way. Now, from the research, this has become the foundation of becoming successful. Look at this way. If you think it over and over again, you will slowly see a clearer picture, a better picture about what you want. Don't you think so? Now look at the people before they become successful. They're crazy about certain things, day and night. Think it over and over again. They are actually practicing, visualizing the dreams and slowly they'll figure out the ways how to achieve it. They'll take action, massive action, try and try it over and over again. In the end, they make it. Just like a chess player, they'll be very careful on every single step they make. Before they make a move, they'll think it over and over again in their brain. So what will happen if I make this move? And what will happen if I make that move? So everything is related to the final goal, which is to win the match. So anything which is not related will just remove from the list. So in short, when you think it over and over again, you can see a clear picture. When you can see the clear picture, you have the confidence and you take massive action. And you can make the dream and the reality, they are getting closer and in the end, they are perfectly matched, which means you have achieved your goal. When we talk about imagination, if the image in your brain is not clear, blurry, black and white, this is not enough. It is hard for you to achieve your goal in this way. If you want to achieve your goal, you need to have a clearer picture, which is colorful, close to the reality. And the same concept goes to the athletes. Have you ever seen how athletes, they practice the imagination and visualization towards to their goal? The more real, the more detail they can imagine or visualize, the higher chance they can achieve their goal. So on the flip side, if you can't practice the imagination and visualization towards to your goal, which is to have a clear picture close to the reality, at the same time, you don't have a strong desire, no action at all, it is hard for you to achieve what you want. For example, if I want to create a product, it's not just to fulfill the market's needs and the features. Now we have to think it over and over again how to achieve the best standard for this product. And even if you can match with all the needs and features and you don't have the ideal standard, just a normal standard, the market, they don't really buy this product. And long ago, there was a researcher who was graduated the same university with Mr. Kizu in the morning. And he together with the team spent months and months to create a product. And eventually they make it and they show it to Mr. In the morning. When Mr. In the morning look at the product and he say, well, do it again. And, and that researcher was shocked. What happened, Mr. Inamori? I fulfill all the needs that you want. And Mr. Inamori replied, this product is not reaching the ideal standard in my heart. And that researcher said, what? You are the technical guy as well. So this is an industrial product. So if you can't command in the more technical way, scientific way, logical way, this is a bad comment that you make ever. So Mr. Inamori replied again and say, now this is not the standard. Now look at the color. This color is not bright enough. It's not reaching the standard. So in the end, Mr. Inamori instructed him, do it again. So that moment, Mr. Inamori truly understood how angry he was, the researcher, how bad he felt. Well, in the end, Mr. Anymore said it's not reaching the standard. 
and after many tries, eventually that researcher has made the product that Mr. Inamori wanted. And during the time, Mr. Inamori always say this, make a brand new product. And brand new product here is referring to the zero defects as a standard. When Mr. Inamori was small, his parents always use this word, brand new. So the brand new here is referring to the idea product. When that product is in front of you, people, they would touch it, even if you doubtful. Is this for real? Such a perfect product? With all the respect to the creator. So this moment, his parents used this word, brand new. And brand new this word, until now, Mr. Inamori always say this brand new product is referring to do your best to create a perfect zero defect product and for those who are in the creativity line this is the final goal this is very important it is a must for the creator to create a perfect product and chapter number four if you are thoughtful enough surely you can achieve it but for sure, this is not only applied to the career, it applies to your life as well. We need to be focused on what you want and think it deeply until you can see it. In another word, you need to have this strong desire on what you want and set a higher standard for your goal and take massive actions. In the end, you can achieve an outstanding result. And the fun thing is that when you can see it clearly with your strong desires, imagination, and your actions, in, in the end, you can achieve the brand new result for yourself as well. In KDDI, when Mr. Inamori told his stuff, he said the trend for mobile phone is coming. So people, they were laughing at him. They say, Mr. Inamori, perhaps this round, you may be wrong, it is impossible, this is not a trend. But that was what Mr. Inamori saw. He can even see that everybody has a phone to connect each and everybody, from young people to old people. Everybody, they have the number to connect each other. So why Mr. Inamori, he can see this? Because through the Kyocera, Kyocera is doing the ceramic and involved in the semiconductor. So he know very well about the changes of the technology. He can see this is coming, is going to happen in Japan. Even the size, the price, and his manager was jotting down on the notes on the book. And when the market was really here, reached to the Japan, and the real price, when they tried again with the notes they took during that time, there was a match. So people, they were shocked. How can you say this? How? How can you say this? Because Mr. Inamori said, when you can see it, you can make it with all the data. You know it very, very well. You have all the data, you have the confidence, is going to happen. Now think about it, your previous achievement. Why did you so confident about your achievement? Sure enough, you can see it. You can see it, you can make it. So in the end, the picture you can see is clear enough that you're going to make it. In the end, you achieve your goal. So once you have already finalized, you're firm with what you want, the next thing is continuously to make it, to make it happen with the confident level, with your efforts to achieve your goal. Now, if you can describe your dream and visualize it as clear as possible, you have a very high potential to achieve your goal. Now, try to close your eyes and think about your goal. If you can see clearly the picture with the colorful picture, which is close to reality, sure enough, you can achieve what you want. And up next, we're gonna talk about the two factors for success. First is plan carefully, and second is your preparation. When we talk about achievement, especially no one has done before, when you say you wanna make it, the people around you, sure enough, they will say something bad about it. Uh, they're gonna demotivate you. No, you're not gonna make it, it is impossible. This moment, you need to be optimistic. Believe in what you wanna make it believe in your goal and gather around the people which is same frequency with you which is optimistic as well so when we talk about this mr in the morning he say 
a lot ago, many years ago, when he was in the office, he had a lot of ideas, great ideas, challenging ideas. Whenever time he talked about, he shared about his idea, he talked with all the high educated people. They usually demotivate Mr. Inamori and say, oh, this is not gonna happen with all the logic data, logical way to say, no, this is not gonna happen because of this and that. So after a few more times, Mr. Inamori, he felt something wrong. So even if I have the great ideas and with all, all of your obstacles and all your rejection, so things even they can make it in the end, they can't be happened, they can't make it. And right after that, Mr. Inamori changed his strategy. Instead of sharing to the wrong people, why don't share to the right people, the optimistic people. And they told him, why don't we just try it? Anything is possible. So optimistic is very important with the confidence. So when the idea state turn to the planning state, we need to be very careful. We need to measure all the potential risks is involved in this planning and take it into account. When planning stage turn to the execution, so we need to be very optimistic. Seems like everything is firm. So we need to be very optimistic in the state of ideal and we need to be very careful during the state of planning and in the end, we need to be very confident in the state of execution. So this is very important in the process from ideal in the end to reality, how to achieve your goal. So this process is very important. At this point, Mr. Inamori suddenly recalled the words from a Japanese adventurer. And this Japanese adventurer was the first one in the world walking alone from South Pole to North Pole. And Mr. Inamori he said Kyocera sponsored him before. And this guy met Mr. Inamori and wanted to say thank to him. And during that meeting, Mr. Inamori said, Wow, you are a brave man. You are a strong man. And this Japanese adventurer, who was so embarrassed to say, Mr. Inamori, I'm not a brave man. I'm, I'm pretty chicken-hearted. I take every step carefully. Perhaps this may be the reason why I become successful. Because if we are brave without taking any consideration, blindly brave, and this may lead us to death. So Mr. Anmori was shocked. He said, this guy, this Japanese adventurer, he really understand the way of life. The moral of the story is we need to plan carefully and take every single step carefully, especially during the execution. And blindly breathe is not enough. It's dangerous, especially in achieving our goal. So that's the sharing of my video today, the section three and four. So if you find values and learn something from this video, you gotta smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification and most importantly is leave a comment below let me know what you think i would love to read the comment and reply to your comment and thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next video Bye.